with Luna Moth Creations and I am back and I've got some boxes and hopefully, I don't know if I can get through all of them today, but I'm gonna try. So I'm super excited. We're doing my uh, Sugar Muses. Girl, what? Sugar Muses is, Sugar Muses? Sugar Muses? Sugar Muses is back, it's back. <laughs> it's back. Okay, Sugar Muses is back, but I believe it's not quarterly, it's like every other month. So I don't think they have like Midnight Muses. They used to have like their Sugar Muses Deluxe. I feel like they had like a regular Sugar Muses Deluxe and then Midnight Muses. Anyways, so I think they just have one box now. I need a drink. I just woke up, I'm thirsty. Um, but anyways, Sugar Muses. So, hey, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Lisa, and on my channel, I like to do lots of witchy things, including unboxing. So, let's get to it. Let me move my second breakfast over here. Man, I ran out of first breakfast, aka banana. So, now I'm just doing, um, shit. Am I going to be able to even open this? Crap. All right, talk amongst yourselves while Lisa tries to get tape undone. I really need to get an extra X-Acto knife. I've got one in my office and um, now that my office and my witchy room are two separate rooms, <laughs> I need an X-Acto knife in here too. All right. So how's everybody? My freaking internet went out last night while I was working. So I had to drive into the office, which is not a horrible ordeal or anything. I actually now live like five minutes from the office, so that's great. Um, but it was cold out there. I don't, I don't like cold weather. Okay, let's do this. I'm so excited. Okay, got some paperwork right on top. Box situated. Oh, before we get started, guys, I just got a sample of one of my um, designs. This is uh, one of my designs in my store, Hippie Soul. Um, I did not draw this VW Bug. I can't do that. But I did do the sun that's underneath here is like sun rays, and I did do the lettering. So, Hippie Soul. Anyways, this is in my shop. It's muted more on the black, but I do have it in white. And I feel like there's another color that it's in. I can't remember. But anyways, this is one of my top sellers. And um, I hadn't purchased one of my own designs in a bit, which is goofy. But, you know, I was like, I need to get that shirt because I actually love this one. And um, it's a top seller. So, anyways, if you guys are interested, it's in my, in my Etsy store. Listed below as My Witchy Store, Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. I'm trying to move my drink around here. Okay. Okay, let's get started. So it says, home is where the heart is. Our home is meant to be a place where we can put all of the stresses of the day behind us and just relax, secure in the knowledge that we are safe, surrounded by people who support, respect, and stabilize us. Many of us has been, have been spending a lot of, blah, blah, blah. many of us have been spending a lot more time at home and indoors, yeah, because it's freezing, um, at least for those of us in the colder climates. <laughs> and all that togetherness with family can present numerous challenges, particularly because everyone is confined and in close quarters with each other. Juggling work, school, kids, family, parents, roommates, as well as everything else can be difficult. Ah, uh, uh, bagel stuck in my teeth. <laughs> Got it. Globally, we are still adapting to the dramatic changes the pandemic has created. While working with this month's box, we will focus on a home that is protected, filled with love and happiness. Hestia, the, sorry, it's in this font and like, my old eyes. Hestia, the Greek goddess of family, home, hearth, and state is more relevant than ever. Vesta is the Roman equivalent to her. Hestia is not the goddess of one type of family. In her eyes, chosen family is what is important. Her energy is often invoked for peace and calm in the home, a house filled with love and health, protection, inspiration, happiness, guidance, help getting rid of negative entities in the home, prosperity in the household, independence, strong family bonds, enduring fire rituals. A 
there's a lot written here. Okay. A brief history of Hestia. She is the daughter of Rhea and Kronos. Um, could be spelled with a K or a C, which is the god of like time. Um, I'm sure he's the god of more things, but uh, my the system that we clock into is called Kronos, and I think that's really funny at a Catholic hospital. Okay. Um, <laughs> Anyways, her siblings are Zeus, Poseidon, Hera, Hades, and Demeter. Hestia represented not only the fire itself, but also its position as the center of family life and domestic stability. In ancient Greece, her sanctuary was in the town hall where the perpetual fire of the city burned. Whenever a new town was founded, flames from Hestia's hearth were carried to light the next one. She is one of the most revered and important goddesses to the Greek people in their everyday lives. She controlled all aspects of daily life and protected the very heartbeat of the home itself. That being said, the concept of a happy home goes beyond deities. You can perform this month's spell and ritual without worshiping Hestia or having her as your patron deity. Spells and magic involve raising and manipulating energy. This energy can come from a variety and combination of sources, nature, the elements, plants and herbs, gemstones, bodies of waters, and co the cosmos... Gods and goddesses and deities are often summoned for their guidance and their energies, but not mandatory to perform spells and magic. The theory of magic states that our thoughts and beliefs are what direct energy are what direct energy, and that this movement of energy is what creates the reality that we live in. By consciously utilizing our thoughts and beliefs in a uh, ritualized manner, we are able to change the reality that we live in. As with any ritual energy work, it is sacred and very personal experience, and it is recommended you use your knowledge and intuition as you are guided. The items in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do. They are curated to help inspire you on your journey. If you like the option of a guided ritual, I have outlined one below along with the metaphysical properties, items, tools for this month's box. <laughs> Kelly, if you're watching this, I just got a message from you. Hi, girl. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just woke up, Kelly. I have not read any of the messages. <laughs> All right. So first off, we have some artwork, and it says Hestia on it. And I think it's just got, like, what kind of goddess she is and then correspondences on here. So there we go. Oh, there's another one. And then... um I guess it's just more information on Hestia. Very nice. All right, and then our intuitively chosen um, Oracle or Tarot card. All right, I got the Three of Wands. I keep getting the damn Three of Wands. I think the Three of Wands keeps telling me to just do the damn thing. Like, quit hanging in, like, your safety of your fucking castle and just get out there and do it. So it's actually a couple things for me. Um, number one, <laughs> now my boyfriend's texting me. Um, number one, I've been wanting to do tarot tutorial for you guys, right? Uh, tarot tutorials, plural, because <laughs> it's gonna be a bunch. And um, and I'm I'm like beating myself up about it, you know, like because I don't edit really. Like, I just don't have time to figure this all out. I will eventually when um, I have more time. But right now, sorry, I'm rearranging myself. Um, right now, I just don't have time to try to learn and figure out how to really edit my videos. And I don't want to give you guys, like, shitty videos. You know what I mean? Um, of, like, for the tarot tutorials. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that. And I just want to make sure that I give you guys really good information. So there's one thing that I'm sitting on the fence and, you know, waiting in the wings and shit. But it's going to happen. I'm going to do it because I'm getting more excited about it. And then the other thing is that um, me and my boyfriend are, like, preparing to um, move somewhere else. Like, where we just, like, booked off time in May so we could go um, drive out to North and South Carolina so we can kind of look around and see like what places we would like to actually land, you know? So anyways, um, I need to step out my castle and get to it. So lovely. And it's so cute. Sorry. Did I get, sh I didn't show you guys. <laughs> 
What's in the box, Lisa? <laughs> okay, so it's three of wands, and look at the cute little bee. And on the back, there's like little bees, if it'll focus. Cute. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, it goes up there. I wonder if she tells us. I can't remember if she tells us what it... Yeah, intuitively drawn card. For more information about your card in the deck it was drawn from, search for The Fae and the Ferns by Sam Sawyer on SugarMuses.com. For the meaning of your card and for more info on this deck, take a moment to reflect on the meaning this card has um, to you and of any insight it may bring. Cool. I already did that. You guys got my insights. <laughs> OMG, I already see shit on top. I don't want to tell y'all. Okay. All right. I don't know what to do. Everything looks so pretty. I've got to remember the, um, I can't remember the owner's name. Mm. Christy. Christy, it looks beautiful. Okay, so first off, we have some sacred ritual salts. Elixir of Hestia Botanical Ritual Salts. Look at the pretty label. Yay. I'm going to smell it. Yes. It looks like chamomile and rose. Is there jasmine in there? Okay. Do, 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 do. And also, she has a, um, she has like a ritual thing in here. Um, which I, I don't ever read because I think you have to subscribe to the box to get that. But I appreciate that. Like, thanks for um, for us busy witches. We we need um, we need somebody to help us out sometimes. Of course, like I love writing my own, um, but sometimes you just get you don't have time. What the hell is this? Here we go. Elixir of Hestia ritual salts can be used in a ceremonially ceremonially. Is that the right word? <laughs> Ritual bath. Before any ritual work, spell casting as an offering and purification spells placed in a bowl on your altar to represent earth, used to cast circles, or to clean your gemstones and crystals. Just place your gemstones in a bed of salt overnight. Salt has magical properties of purification and protection. Contains sea salt, Epsom salts, dry botanicals, and Hestia ritual oil. Lovely. All right, and then we have this beautiful smoke bundle. Whoops. Okay, I don't, I don't know you spam risk. <laughs> the smoke bundle, oh, mmm. So it's white sage with some pretty um, botanicals on it. Did you guys love my ringtone? It's actually, um, uh, I think it might be, is that like a Beyonce song? But it's, it's actually sung by Glee. I'm a Gleek, if you guys have never watched Glee, even at 46, I fucking love that show. It's hilarious. Um, and it's fun and it, like, it's uplifting with all the music. Anyways, um, although there are some sad episodes, but, um, but I'm a total nerd. <laughs> Where's my smoke bundle? Oh my God. Do, 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 do. Where is all this show? You guys are going to just sage and pink. Status? I don't know what that says. Botanical bundle. Ethically grown and harvested, this bundle is wrapped with dried pink status, which is known to promote love, compassion, and gentleness. The status flower, I don't think I'm saying this right, um, in general is associated with memory, remembrance, and psychic abilities. My phone is blowing up. Um, Light the botanical bundle and use the smoke to cleanse the space while you ask for peace and happiness in your home. Focus on the desired result. Imagine the sense of peace permeating the smoke and everything in your living space. Never burn unattended. Have proper ventilation and keep away from children, pets, and flammable materials. Awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do next. Okay, so then we have this um, little sachet and it's actually labeled... There's a little label that says sunstone. Very nice. I need to get some sunstone in my shop. Um, 
I've I've got a lot of tumbled stones in my shop, and I've got more that I need to put up. Oh, I'm messing this thing up all the. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, there we go. Sunstone is actually in my cart, <laughs> in a shop. I'm like in a wholesale shop, um, and I'm waiting to purchase. I need some more money. <laughs> I'm working overtime this week to pay off some crystals that I already bought for my shop. So um. Um, and then I'll probably buy more, and then I'll have to work more over time to pay for them. <laughs> but anyways, this is my new my, my new baby, Sunstone. We'll put it on my selenite charging plate. All right, and which actually, guys, I've got some really cool selenite charging plates that I need to take photos of. I'll do it this weekend, and then so hopefully next week I'll get it in my shop. I'm super excited! Okay. Um. Sorry, I'm, if you guys are new to me, I am ADD as fuck. So I'm just letting you know. I also cuss a lot. Okay. Sunstone. This gem was ethically sourced and is widely known as an abundant stone. It radiates with fire energy, promoting creativity, strength, and joy. It is often carried for protection. The gold energy in sunstone brings success, enthusiasm, happiness, and power. Gemstones can be added to spell bags, held during meditation, and placed around candles on the altar to boost Excuse me, to boost energy. All right. God, there's so much stuff in here. I'm so excited. Oh! So we got this sachet. You guys see that? Um, there's a pentacle situation, triple moon situation. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. So I'm assuming this is just a little mini spell. So first off, we have this awesome chime candle holder. Oh, okay, and then we have um, a white candle that's a little too big. We're gonna Okay, now it fits <laughs> you just you shove it in the hole Okay, yeah. okay don't, I mean it depends what you're doing you don't you don't always have to shove it. Okay I'm sorry. Okay, so there's this <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay, so anyways, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read this because I think you have to subscribe, but I have a happy home spell right here. How wonderful. And I'm sorry that that turned that turned a corner. I don't know where that went. It was dirty. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does anybody else's mind just always go to I'm like I'm like a 12 year old boy, but then again, I raised three sons, so maybe I don't know. I think I was like that when I was before I had kids too, so I'm just, I'm a, I'm a child. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find this on here. Moving along. Um, do, 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 where is it at? Can I call? Is a candle? I don't know. Oh, no, I feel like I miss it. Here it is. Happy Home Spell Bag. God. It's hard for me to find things. This kit was created exclusively exclusively for this month's box. It contains a spell candle, candle holder, and spell scroll with the suggestions for use. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Super cute. All right, I'm trying to organize here. All right, what do we got here? Oh, got another sachet. I'm so pleased so far with this box. Ah, Christy. I'm so excited. Thank you, Christy, for coming back. I know that there was some, some life happenings, um, but she is back. Okay, I'm just going to take this off the thing. We have a lovely necklace. Okay, hold on. Can you guys see it? It's art. And it's got like an evil eye in the middle. So there's like a rose on top and an evil eye in the middle. Nice, and it's on a black ribbon. Awesome sauce. Okay, let's find our necklace. No, it's not that. Hinge candle, ritual, sunstone, side pocket. Mm. Oh, the witch's heart charm. Use this charm in spell bags, around a candle, or carry it with you to promote love and protection. I assume that's what, that's, that's, I'm reading the right thing. Or wear it as a necklace, because that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, 
I've got little bits of candle because I shoved it in the hole <laughs> that broke off. Okay. Mm. All right. So we have, I guess this is a, no, what is this? So we have something here. Let's see. Oh, man. I'm like ripping my sticker. Okay. Whoa. First off, let's start from the beginning here. I am obsessed with Sugar Muse's ritual oils, perfume oils. They smell so freaking amazing. Oh my God. Like I will slather my whole shit with it. So, um, this is a different kind of bottle than she normally has it in. It's usually in like a square thing. So this is cool and fun and it's Hestia Ritual Oil. Is it a rollerball? It's a rollerball. Mmm, yes. I don't know. I, I'm assuming that, that Christy makes these herself. You are a master blender. I mean, mmm. They just always smell so good. Oh my God, okay. Trash I need to figure out here. Okay, throw it on the floor. All right. God, it's taking me forever to do this because I'm just so special today. <laughs> and I can't ever find anything here. Okay. Um, all right. It just says, this magical oil blend contains rose odo? R risotto? Risotto. Isn't that food? Um, it says rose and then O-T-T-O. I don't know if that's one word. It's kind of hard to tell or if it's two different words, but risotto, um, uh, Sh Chef Ramsay's gonna yell if you don't get that risotto right. Hell's Kitchen, okay. Uh, Lily and Lavender essential oils infused in an organic almond oil base. Awesome, it smells wonderful. Uh, like ro ones with rose in it, oh, it just smells so good. Okay, we got some incense, and she's putting these cute little labels on everything. Mm. All right. I think that after a while, jasmine incense stick. Jasmine is often used to promote happiness, love, and for moon magic. Other properties include prosperity, and then it says never burn alone and be careful and shit. Okay, awesome. Yay! Out. I think there's only two things left. All right. So we have this Hestia Botanical Soy Candle. And it's so pretty. Look at the... Ooh! Yes! Look how pretty it is! Ooh, it's sparkly! What time is it? I need to move, man. I gotta work in an hour. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this shit done. Okay. Um, dried lavender. Did I miss something? Dried rose. Okay, there must be more in here. Maybe it's in the... Okay, I don't want to tell you what else is in here. Okay, um... Hestia candle. Okay. She, again, I'm not going to give you guys the ritual, but she talks about invoking um, um, Hestia with the candle. So, there's that. I'm trying to see if it says what's in it. I don't think so. So, anyways, it smells really great. So, All right. There's, there's one more thing in here, but I think that there's something in it. So, ready guys? Look at this box! Oh my gosh. How beautiful. Yes, there's stuff in it. Okay. Because I was like, there's more on here. So we've got some, um, we've got some herbs. So we have um, rose petals. And we've got lavender. And then what is this? Oh, it's like a, oh, it's a little 
<gasps> Did she make it? Christy? So it's like a, it's a, I think it's clay. Um, I used to play with clay. I swear, I suck at life because like, I'll have like, I'll get an interest. Oh, there's wax on my bagel. <laughs> Let me move this over here so I don't eat it. Um, I will get into like a hobby and I'll be like obsessed, obsessed. And I will buy everything to do with it. And then after a while, I'm, I'll move on to something else and then I won't use it. And then I'll be like, I'm just gonna sell it. And then I'll sell it and then I'll be like, I want that back. Okay, so anyways, let me show you guys what it is. It's like this clay medallion thingy with a goddess. Look how beautiful. How fun. Christy, how'd you do that, girl? I need to know, because then I'm gonna have to buy clay again. All right. So we got dried rose. Um, magical properties of rose include love, luck, Friendship, protection, and happiness. Suggestions for use. Use in a, as an offering to Goddess Hestia. Rose can be used as a substitute for any flower in a spell. Sprinkle on burning candles. Use the petals on as petals as altar confetti. Then we have dried lavender. Magical properties of lavender include promoting a, a long life, happiness, peace, and warding off evil spirits. Lavender is an herb of Hestia. Suggestion for use, burn during ritual spells, ring a candle, sprinkle on a burning candle, use in a spell bag. I think it was the same with the rose. All right, and then we have the goddess medallion. This clay medallion was hand molded and painted. It features a Greek goddess that can be charmed to hold your magical intent. To do this, hold it in your hand with your dominant hand over it. Picture your desired objective being infused into the piece. Envision the energy like a light that pours into it. Awesome. And then our um, hand-carved goddess apothecary box. The top of this wooden box features a spiral goddess. Spirals have taken on many different definitions across cultures and centuries. They're a popular Celtic symbol and can be seen on ancient structures dating back thousands of years. It is thought to represent the cycles of life, nature, progress, and growth. Within the box, you will find... Oh, and then it tells the things that we just got. Awesome. Fabulous. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. This... Um, I'm going to put the medallion back in there and I'll put my herbs with my herbs. Uh, this was a great box. I'm so excited to have Sugar Muses back. Um, again, it's, it's like every other month. I will leave the link below if you guys are interested in... Um, in getting this box. I think I got everything. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know what your favorite item is. Gosh, I don't know. Probably the box. Um, but I also enjoy this cute little um, candle holder, the Triple Goddess um, candle holder. So guys, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment below what you think of this box, that whole situation right there really helps out my channel. And if you guys aren't a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. And until next time, guys, have a great day. And I will actually, before I go, I will post a previous Sugar Muses video of mine right here. Okay, have a great day. Bye. Thank you.